This video is about writing powers with a different base. Let's take a look at example A. We've got 4 to the power of 3 equals 2 to the power of what? So we've got this power here which has a base of 4 and we need to write it as a power with a base of 2. We can do this by realising that 4 is already a power of 2. So we start with 4 to the power of 3 and that's going to equal 2 squared to the power of 3. All I've done here is rewrite the 4 as 2 to the power of 2. And I do that because I want to end up with a base of 2. Now, what we've got here is a power raised to a power. And we know that we can simply multiply these indices. So 2 squared, all cubed, is actually... 2 to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6. So 4 cubed equals 2 to the power of 6. And that means the missing index in here is 6. Let's have a look at question B. We've got 8 to the power of 2 thirds, and we need to write that in the form 2 to the power of something. So... 8 to the power of 2 thirds is going to be 2 cubed to the power of 2 thirds. All I've done here is rewrite the 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I've still got 8 to the power of 2 thirds. We can then write this as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 thirds, which is 2. So 8 to the power of 2 thirds is simply 2 to the power of 2. Pause the video and have a go at question C for yourself. Here's the answer. 16 to the power of 2 thirds is going to be 2 to the power of 4 to the 2 thirds. That's because 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Now to simplify this, we need to multiply these indices. 4 times 2 thirds is 8 thirds. So we have 2 to the power of 8 thirds. So the missing index here is 8 thirds. Moving on, here's question D. Pause the video and try this one for yourself. This time, you need to spot that 16 is 4 squared. So we've got 16 to the power of 2 thirds equals 4 squared all raised to the power of 2 thirds. And simplifying this power, we get 4 to the power of 2 times 2 thirds, which is 4 to the power of 4 thirds. So the missing index there is 4 thirds. Moving on to question E. Now, this one is a little bit trickier. That's because we can't write 81 as a nice, easy integer power of 27. What might be easier, however, is spotting that both of these are powers of 3. So I'm just going to note some facts. 81 is 3 to the power of 4. And 27 is 3 to the power of 3, or 3 cubed. What we can do first is rewrite this with a base of 3 and see where that gets us. So 81 to the negative 3 quarters is 3 to the power of 4, that's the 81, all raised to the negative 3 quarters. And that's going to equal 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by negative 3 quarters. 4 times negative 3 quarters gives us negative 3. Now, I can use the same index law that we've just used, but in reverse, by writing 3 to the negative 3 as 3 to the power of 3 to the negative 1. Just see what I've done here? These are equal. 3 times negative 1 gives us negative 3. Now, normally we're used to starting with something in this form and turning it into this, but I've deliberately gone the other way this time. Why have I done that? 
Well, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So I wanted to get something of this form because we're looking for 27 to the power of something. In fact, I'm almost finished. 3 cubed is 27. So what I've got here is 27 to the negative 1. And that means the missing index in here is negative 1.